Hey everyone, we are the Millers. After many years of renting, we finally purchased our own family home. We've been living in the home for a year and finally decided to step into our next chapter, which is our first home renovation. We will be living through the mess and are here to share all our experiences with you, our highs and our lows, as first time homeowners and first time home renovation as we journey on through. Please stay tuned. So the demolition um, phase that we went through that lasted for about two, two weeks. weeks. Two weeks yeah. um, so we moved all our things over into the sunroom, and we literally lived in the sunroom for about two weeks until they were done with all the breaking down of the walls, and then um, at the same time they then started evicting. Uh, the, the center island and they started building the bathroom uh, that took an additional two weeks so we were in the we were in the sunroom for about a month yeah um, and that was that was quite an experience um, we had succumbed to quite a few challenges uh, during that month one of it being the floors became a huge um, surprise because bad surprise not a good surprise yeah <laughs> um do you want to tell them what you know just i mean a quick recap uh floors were out uh as you guys know uh in the kitchen um and the rest of the house so uh, the guys who came in to do the floors uh just well yeah they, they they did a fantastic job but they also didn't do a fantastic job um they they raised our floors probably by about 40 more in some places um and 30 more in other places so um yeah with that happening uh, obviously it affects a lot of things to the house um existing door frames uh, that height changes um, we had to increase the height of all the rooms basically and it's just been one thing after the other so um, you know kitchen counters all needs to be raised kind of thing so it's just yeah the floors has been a challenge and um continues to be a challenge and continue and continues to be a challenge yeah. Yeah. Um, because now after we've left it and it's basically like dried out and like cured properly um we have now seen like loads of cracks um in the floors um nothing too serious in the sense of but but they are they are there are a few cracks so um hairline cracks here and there so those needed to be sorted out um and yeah so i think we we at the end of that journey at yeah. the moment so just to take you back um once the the flooring was done we then moved over to the bathroom we started erecting we built the bathroom from scratch so everything was ripped out of the bathroom uh, we built a brand new bath um, we built the vanity um, we tiled it out um, the walls and then we left the bathroom out the original concrete floors I thought okay so that area was not affected as much because it's a smaller area and I really like the, the, the concrete look, so we left the bathroom floor um, concrete. However, there were lots of issues um, with the bathroom as well. Yeah. So let me so let me just tell you. Um, so the bathroom was one was one thing. Um, it it looks absolutely beautiful. We are happy with how the bathroom looks. 
but the functionality of the bathroom unfortunately is what kicked us in because again um, the boulders came in they told us that they knew you know how to do this so we obviously trusted that and um, they did the bath and unfortunately we didn't get a finished product which is what we were under the impression we were going to get and we didn't so there was a miscommunication somehow you know they had one idea we had the other nonetheless um we we are where we are we so, landed up with a bathroom that looked good but couldn't be used yeah so kurt and i then had to go and do some research and that's the same the same thing applies with the floors uh, just to take you back so the floors were were done um, but nothing was 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 finished. There was no end product, which in our mind, our the end product would have been the floor that we wanted sealed and everything. So no, it was it was expected. Yeah, when, yeah. when they were done, that was the idea that we thought uh, they were going to deliver. You know that the floors were going to be finished. It was going to be sealed. Um, everything. In other words, that we didn't have to go do tons of homework or. You know guide them as to what the finish needs to be it's just like do you guys know how to do some in flooring yes we do know how to do some in flooring okay cool here's a picture follow that that's what i want it to look like awesome four days later not like the picture looks like the picture but functionally it doesn't yeah do what it's supposed to do so when they were done the floors were just like porous anything that fell in it seeped in um then the cracks started showing then yeah, um, their, their, uh, their skill set in finishing off the floor because it's supposed to have that natural small look. Um, there were just places that like irritated me um, where they finished off. You could see like where they started and where they finished. They all finished at the same place. So it, it just started messing with me. Um, but yeah, you know, at the end of the day, um, I think all things happen for, uh, for a reason. And I'm glad it did because um, I think that in the end, we started falling out of love with that look of flow. Well, I, I wouldn't say falling out of love. Well, I, I think I think for me personally, I, I, I was just getting tired of all the, um, all the issues that arose with the cement floors and the cement bath and the, yeah. the even like everything that we did in cement there was an issue with it um and it's not it's not necessarily the the concept that we were going for it, it is the workmanship unfortunately yeah. and it was the lack of understanding that we had and the lack of knowledge that we had so we trusted um, that the people that we brought in knew what they were doing um and they in their rightful way they knew what they were doing but again we you know we needed to dig a little deeper and do a little bit of more research so for anyone that's going to do some main flooring you get a boulder that builds and then you get professional people that specializes in these things to come out and do it and that's what we've learned and that's where we went wrong unfortunately yeah so that's the one uh, uh, lesson yeah. that we can take from that is that um you know you yeah. you have a mechanic that's gonna work on 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 a on a car don't don't go and send him a a boat he's not gonna know how to work on a boat he might be a mechanic but that doesn't mean he can work on a boat he specializes in working on cars so that's kind of the situation that we were in um but you know what throughout this journey we have learned a lot um we have done a lot of research we found out a lot of things so we are all the better for it um like i said there was issues around everything that we had with the concrete um the floors um the center island the bath uh, the vanity everything but we have overcome all that so just to give you guys very an idea, tiring though but we have overcome it. yeah extremely tiring because a lot of look in the beginning we said that we're going to be doing everything ourselves in terms of diy uh we didn't realize that it's like literally going to be everything uh you know doing everything over so yeah 
so what we've done is um we then went and did more research around you know what must be done uh with these concrete baths and things like that oh let me add do you know how hard it is youtube is supposed to be the place to find everything do you know how hard it was or even the internet in general do you know how hard it was to find a solution to our problem to our floor problem to our bath problem um i promise you um we searched online there was nothing excuse the, <laughs> the pun concrete that we could go on um online because there was no information there was just it's just like you know what you guys are buggered you made a bad choice uh, you're either going to have to change your entire design, you're going to have to repair to start over. There wasn't one bit of information, unless I didn't look in the right place. Unless, but I mean, anything I typed in regarding just never came up. And I said to Carmen the other day, I said, if anybody's doing concrete floors um, or anything concrete, there is ways around it. It's just there's, about... There's many ways around it. At the for, for us, we didn't, in reality, we didn't know what we were asking. Yeah, it's been, look, it's been a, a bit of a financial um, testing time because it's like you buy something and these products aren't cheap. It's like you go to the store and you say, okay, what, what am I supposed to use here? And they're like, that's what you're supposed to use. And you're like, okay, how much is it? They're like, 900 bucks. And you're like, is it going to work? Definitely. Should do the trick. Come home elbow grease, sand down, whatever you did, reapply, do the timing, wait to everything. Three, four days later, everything is supposed to be cured. Run the hot water, boom. Whatever they gave us, lifts. I kind of feel like I'm buggered here. In which direction do I go? So after long painstaking hunting, we finally discovered how it's supposed to be done. Because it was a battle of water-based sealers or solvent-based sealers. Uh, you know, like an oil-based sealer. And some were saying, oh no, use the oil-based. And use the oil-based and that's what we did and it didn't work. And we used the water-based and it didn't work. Only to discover that you've got to use both. And nobody gave us that information up until hmm. now late. Hmm. So in other words, yeah, water-based sealer seals the concrete. And then over the water-based sealer, You've got to use um, the, what is it? UV something. The UV something, yeah. So we, we had the problems with the concretes. Um, Are we still on the problems? And, yeah, and then we... Still on the problems. So we had issues with the concretes in every area of the house where there was concrete. And what we had to do uh, was going to do uh, extra research to educate ourselves because we needed, we had, a, we were sitting with a problem and now we need to fix it. And this is all before Christmas. So we weren't able to because everyone was shut down. Um, we tried to sort the, the bathroom out. So what we did with the bathroom, we went and put, we got salespeople in here from professional companies that does cement screening and things like that and they gave us advice and they gave us products so we went and we did the DIY so we'll show you now what we did on the DIY side of the bathroom hey guys so it's another DIY day today and um, my project is to paint and seal the bathroom so I'm going to show you what the bath looks like so currently that's the bath um, and that is just cement PPC and a bonding, um, a bonding agent um, so all they've done there is just screeded that for us so we, we're not too happy with the outcome of it um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna paint that and then for the basin uh, we're just actually gonna seal this we're just gonna seal the basin today so that's my job.
that didn't work. Um, and then we thought, you know what? Money, money, you know what? Down the drain. Forget it. We even thought of just we were we were yeah. up to year with all the issues and the money that we'd spend. So we thought, okay, this is not gonna happen before Christmas. We don't have a bath. So we did some more research and then I found a company. Before you found the company, I lost it and I said, bugger this, I'm done spending money. I'm gonna go buy a bath. Spend more money. I'm gonna knock that concrete thing out and I'm gonna fit the bath in. We and really I, we really got to that point. I and said I said to Carmen, and every our, time and I, I I was almost on that bandwagon yeah. and I'm like because mm. every time I was like a thousand then, a thousand then, a thousand then, I'm like and we had at the same place every time. I said after all these thousand then spent for trial and error, I could have had a stunning bath just like you're fitted in and knowing it's gonna last kind of thing. Yeah, but, but I, I didn't want to do that. Like, I was wanted. open I was open to the suggestion because I was also at the point where I'm like, you know what, I, I actually can't do this again. But it just so happened that um, we found this company and um, I'd made inquiries. I told them what our issues were and could they help us with the product with the, with the product. And they replied and they said, yes, they absolutely can. They are, however... Like everybody did, we can help you. Come in. Come in. They are, however, uh, going to be closing. So we have to wait until the new year. And so we did. We waited for the new year. And so the problem with, our, with the, the products that we applied to our bath, there was no problem, actually. The products that we applied to the bath was the correct products but we were missing another product, which is what we didn't know. So we had painted the bath. Um, we had then applied a water-based sealant on the bath and that was fine. Um, but the water-based sealant was not enough and that's why it lifted. So we then discovered afterwards going to this company that um, you need to apply the water-based sealant as well as a UV sealant. It's a two pack, so the two needs to work together. So we haven't done the bath yet. Um, we will do another video showing you how we're going to do the bath. So we actually don't know and, if this um, works yet. <laughs> I, it, it's going to work, it's going to work. I mean... After this, if it doesn't work, I'm buying a bath. <laughs> I'm done buying a bath. It's going to work. I'm gonna okay? buy a bath if it don't work. It's going to work. It's absolutely going to work. <laughs> okay, so that's the bar story. Then we go back to the room. So we kind of like scattered, we're working everywhere now. So now Christmas has come, Christmas is gone. And what we've done now, we've the section, the sunroom, we've broken down the walls. Uh, we've moved our lounge suite in here and our TV in here. Um, we could drywall this entire area here to, to close it up. Um, and then, yeah, so we basically just made this area comfortable for ourselves uh, for Christmas. Um, so we'll just show you very quickly um, the, the breaking down of the walls and uh, how he how he erected the, the, the drywalling of this area. And we also added in a sliding door, which we never had before. We added in a sliding door and we um, built a, 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 a wider step coming off from the kitchen into this area. Okay, so today we taking out this entire door frame over here. We're knocking it out. Um, we are also going to be making this strip wider all the way down here and all the way down there.
so uh, that was fun the 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 sunroom area was was very was very cool um there's still a lot of things that we need to do in this area we need to do the flooring um we need to wall up um on the one side close up the door um, a lot of cosmetic things that we need to do um so just before christmas um we managed to work on summerland's room uh, my eldest daughter's room because that we we broke we broke the walls down we extended her bedroom and then we started doing our diy stuff in her room to completion yeah so we went out and we got the flooring the vinyl flooring for the girls rooms um we we scored we scored a, a really awesome floor good quality floor um it was on special last stock and we ended up getting it and it was fantastic so we got um, the same floors for both girls rooms yeah um but we um, managed to just do her room before christmas before, just in time yeah, for christmas just in time for christmas so that was the only room that was like looking like anything is getting completed in this home um everything else oh, was... and the bathroom the bathroom also yeah but it was you know it, was nice it just, to, like, it just, just wasn't functional you just it. walked into into the bathroom and like oh that's nice but we can't yeah. use it so yeah well we were um, using the vanity <laughs> oh that's it yeah and the uh, toilet and the toilet yeah but so it was part you functional could just dream about the bath for but while. just we just couldn't bath um so. yeah so then we uh it was kind of like a jump around where we were kind of like listen um let's focus on the girls rooms at the same time because so they can get comfortable um, mainly uh, the eldest one's room um, because she was you know sleeping on the mattress on the floor in our bedroom yeah so that like was like a months. nightmare because trying to move around in our room was like becoming like a nightmare yeah and and our focus was to get her room ready uh before she goes before school starts in yeah. the new year so she can be you know yeah. not as interrupted or disturbed or anything like that when, mm -hmm. when school starts so this is what went down with Samlen's room and the preparation of her room yeah Okay, so as you could see, um, the girls' floors in their rooms were all done. Um, came out awesome. We built some lane, a very really low-lying uh, base because uh, we wanted this whole uh, easy, low look where you know the room has more volume in the sense of height, makes everything appear bigger. Um, so that that came out all awesome. Still some finishing that needs to be done in it, um, but the wooden floors. Uh, I've done laminate floors before. I've done vinyl floors before, but um, I don't. I don't know something about maybe. I mean, guys who do uh, vinyl and laminate floors, you guys will obviously know. But I was I was actually taken uh, aback with with this one that we did, and I actually didn't know. Um, I didn't know this about the vinyl floors. I thought to myself that you know with these floors there's a consistency that happens um 
but then when i started laying the floors down i was like whoa you know not every floor uh, connects to every floor and this is something that i didn't know so i'm like up in the bedrooms here like building puzzles because like i put one laminate floor down the next one that comes out of the box uh doesn't match with that one and i'm like okay uh, the next one that comes out of the box doesn't match with that one. And the next one that comes out doesn't match and the next one. And I'm eventually like, hang on here, you know, I've, I've put one floorboard down and I've gone through four or five other floorboards in the box and they don't match. Um, and then by the time I got to like the seventh one, I was like, whoa, you know, here's like a, a matching piece. Um, and I didn't know that. And suddenly doing the floors became quite a nightmare because now i was like you know normal square meterage we'd need so much square meters for the room but now because it's a design floor where you know it's the grain needs to flow into the next floor panel it wasn't just like take a floorboard put it there take a floorboard put it there you had to find the matching partner to each floorboard and that became a nightmare because suddenly i was like whoa uh I actually can't cut it on here or I can't make a mistake here because if I make a mistake on one board I have to literally open up another box of laminate flooring to go find that one's partner again um, and that that would have become like costly so yeah so if you guys are planning on doing DIY um, if you know this already I, I, I learned it just now uh, doing it myself um, but if you are planning to do DIY, just, just, you know, look out for that kind of thing because uh, nothing worse than laying your floors down and the grain doesn't flow correctly. In other words, you just go and you take another floor and you put it at the end and it just doesn't link up. Um, so I don't know if there's a, if, if there's a term for this or what it's called, what? like, you know, like stupid, <laughs> <laughs> just don't do it. <laughs> Get a company in, don't do it you know so um but yeah guys i promise you i was like standing in the room looking like a nutcase some days um i was like that floor looks like that one no 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 that floor looks like that one no 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 that one looks like that one and mm -hmm. i eventually started talking to myself and calming my body and i was like he still he still talks to himself he still talks to yourself. i do yeah you do and sometimes i need to give myself some good advice so anyway so that's where we are um after after the, the the Christmas holidays, uh, we went home doing some DIY stuff. Um, we started working on our kitchen. Uh, Kurt started building the kitchen cupboards, um, and then we started tackling our floors. So those videos we'll share with you um, as we build the content. Um, We'll separate those videos. We'll do the kitchen. We'll show you what we did with the floors, and then still to come is we're gonna have to do the we're gonna have to redo the bathroom, um, and we'll show you how that goes down. What are you doing? What are you doing, baby? So that's it for now, guys. Um, we look forward to sharing our mistakes with you <laughs> and our it's challenges. A lot. It's a lot. Yeah. So it's been it's been two months. Can you believe it? It's been two months. It feels like forever mm. for me. It feels like forever. I've had friends come here. I've had family come here, and when when they see what we've done, they are actually in shock that we've done so much in two months. And I'm like, mm, okay, you know, because. This is 2000. Mm -hmm. 23. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, is. yes, we did do a lot um, and we still have a lot to do. But I think now we at a point where because we can start seeing um, light and we start to see how things are coming together. It's exciting. It's now more exciting. We pass the frustration. We pass the irritation. We pass the, you know, I think touch wood. <laughs> <laughs> there's no more surprises because we now having to do cosmetic things and that's in our control so the things that were not in our control that's what you know yeah that was a pain. that's what kicked us from behind 
Um, yes, so, I will yeah. say, you know, if you guys are planning on doing a renovation, I will say this much. Um, I think, I think we, we just went like balls to the wall. Yeah, as much. And we just hit like a massive reno, but balls. I can tell you, <laughs> I can tell you this much. If you're going to do a renovation and you are not stepping out of the house, also, if you are not going to be hands on, um, then tackle one project at a time. Um, hey, well, I mean, that would we, be... we were very hands on. Um, it, it was just the unfortunate circumstances that we, at the time where this big reno was happening, we were both working. So we did not have a foreman. Um, we were the four men having to come home. The guys are still here. Do a brief. Um, uh, do a quick brief. Catch a, up with them yeah. on the weekend. It, it was just crazy. It was absolutely crazy. But you know what? We did a lot of learning. Um, I I am. I have so much knowledge now about what we've just been through it's 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 awesome it really is awesome and um you know i think that if we were to if we were to do this again would we do it over probably not there will be certain things that we would definitely you know make better decisions but had we not gone through it we would have not learned yeah. um and we've learned a lot um also the funny thing is there's been a lot of mistakes yes but like I said to Carmen, sometimes a lot of these mistakes happen for a reason. Um, so like with the flaws, you know what I mean? It, it didn't come out the way we wanted to. But had it been done professionally the way it was, um, to be honest with you guys, I don't think I would have liked it anyway. So I'm glad that did happen as a mistake. It was a little bit costly, but at the end of the day, it didn't, you know, like kill us in that sense. We I, I, also, to... I also think that... Um the mistakes that 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 we've gone through had made us change stronger <laughs> so much stronger <laughs> it, it made us steer the ship quite a bit i mean we were not on 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 course all the time we literally had to had to go off course so in other words we had everything that we had our mindset on had changed from the floors you know the only thing that i i yeah. stood by is the bathroom because yeah. i really really wanted to salvage the the plan because had we changed the That's bathroom true, eh? it would have changed the whole look and we, we're going for a very specific look in the house and i will say that through all the changes we're still going to achieve the look that we want if not better you know yeah it's almost as if our, our the look we knew what we wanted to achieve but it was like very cloudy, the image. It's like, yeah, 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 that's kind of what we like in it. And then as it started coming together and the mistakes started happening, we're kind of like, mm, you know what? We can't do this now, we're gonna have to do that. And then it was forcing us into certain decisions to make that ended up being better in the end. It started making the place yeah, much look better. better. You know, the the floors, the change in the floor, that ended up making the place look better. Uh, the bathroom, um, having the issue in the bath where they didn't finish the bath uh, off correctly, led us to getting a type of breathable paint that we could coat in the bath that made the bath look incredible. Mm. Um, you know, all these little um, niggles that, that we went two steps forward, and, you know, a step back, then two steps back, one step forward. Um, all those kind of led to where we are now. Yes, at the end of the day, it did cost a little bit more. Um, even up until like uh, our counters in the kitchen, even that, even the center island. Um, you know, we wanted it to be like a natural slate color. And then that was falling apart. It was like, oh my word, this is not coming out the way we wanted to. And eventually we opted for, out of so, fr so much frustration, um, I, I said to Carmen one night, you know what, bugger it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try a, a, a stoop paint. I'm going to put a stoop paint on the center island. And she said, okay, just be careful because if it gets damaged, that's your elbow grease. You're going to have to sand that down. And I applied it with a sponge in like circular, circular motions kind of thing. And the center island came out phenomenal. It came out so much better than we expected it to come out. And all, and all we had to do was that and give it a proper seal and what we are still going to do, um, we're going to have someone come out and give it a polish. Yeah. 
polish it and then that's gonna be that's gonna be finished and Bob's but, your uncle so I think I think what we've learned as well is that don't go with what one person tells you yeah that's a good you need to you need to firstly do your own research and then go to another and person and go to another person and go to another person and speak to and first let them give you all the same story yeah and once they give you all the same story you can basically draw your own conclusion you and go can, you know yeah. what uh this guy and that guy said that but this guy is saying something else so you, you, will, you will eventually pick up a common denominator not a common denominator we're back at school people you will you will eventually pick up a common the denominator the common truth I you know the denominator So yeah, so I think we in a we we are in a good place now. Um, we're very proud. We're very happy with our results um, and our hard work and everything. And the next few videos that I'm going to share with you will be um, the little projects. So it will be the bathroom. It will be the the kitchen. It will be um, the the second bedroom. So we'll we'll break the videos up for you. Uh, we just wanted to give you guys just a quick update as to where we are, uh, where we've come from, and what's what's going to happen now going forward. So now it's just a lot of DIY and denominator. Yeah. <laughs> no. We're not doing that again. No. Okay. What can we do now? We no, must we have, normal. Now we know normal. we no, must we have. Be we haven't done a. We, we haven't did oh, a so video in a long time, so we must do a nice oh. closing. What's our closing going to be? Just like professional. Bye bye, baby. No, it's boring. No, baby. Can we do a dance? No, you always want to dance. Yeah. Why not? It's like eleven o'clock at night. You I know. Dance it's at the, the best time. Can we do a dance? Now watch me work, work, watch me nene, watch me work. No, Why Sorry. not? It's like, okay. we say do good, something. Say goodbye to you. To the kid. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. I have a very boring husband. Bye to you. Okay guys, so thanks for watching. Um, Stay tuned for our projects that we're going to upload. Yeah. Cheers. Are you going to leave me? Please. Put the door. <laughs> now you're leaving me. If you want to renovate, we want to renovate. Be a denominator. Then you need to think about it, eh? You need to think about it. You're good. Because let me tell you, tell them, baby, tell them if they want to renovate. Be a denominator. No, just don't do it. Don't do it. Okay? Yeah, I must do it. Paul's character. A <laughs> Paul's character. Okay, bye.